It's often called the evening star, and sometimes the morning star, but it's better known as the planet Venus. It's one of only two planets that orbit inside Earth's orbit around the Sun, and that means it can occasionally come between our planet and our star. Most of the time, it passes above or below the Sun as seen from Earth, because the orbits of Earth and Venus aren't precisely on the same plane. At rare times, however, Venus can cross directly in front of the Sun. This event is called a transit, during which the small, round silhouette of Venus slowly crosses the disk of the Sun. Kind of like a solar eclipse, except the image of Venus is very small, only about 1 30th the Sun's diameter. Transits of Venus occur at complex intervals, and the last time one occurred was in 2004. However, the next transit of Venus won't take place for another 105 years in 2117, making this celestial event a truly once-in-a-lifetime occurrence. Remember, never look directly into the sun. You must take care to protect your eyes by using proper filters or by projecting the sun's image onto a screen. The brightness and heat of unfiltered sunlight can cause irreparable eye damage. You can safely observe the transit using safe solar filters that can be purchased from optical stores or museums. These include paper goggles or frames with mylar or thin polymer material designed for viewing the sun. But make sure that they're in good condition, with no wrinkles or pinholes. A pair of eclipse viewing glasses will allow you to observe the transit safely without any eye damage. But without magnification, Venus will be hard to see. The safest way to observe the transit is to look at a projected image of the Sun. With an unfiltered telescope, the Sun's image can be focused sharply onto a screen held anywhere from a few inches to a few feet away from the eyepiece. Be sure not to look through the eyepiece at the Sun. The light can be blinding, and the concentrated heat coming out of the eyepiece is as hot as a lit match. The very safest way to follow the transit is to do so online. Here are some suggested sites. If you're in our neighborhood, join us at the Academy for this unique view of Venus transiting our star, the Sun.